Hi everyone, I'm thrilled to be here today to talk to you about DPY, the driving force of the WalkMe platform. Here at WalkMe, we know that our customers use our product for a variety of use cases on many different business applications. Whether you leverage DAP for in-app guidance, automation, or data capabilities, at the core of our software is the ability to look at a screen within an application and interpret what's going on. At WalkMe, we call this capability element recognition. And this can look deceivingly simple, but there are actually quite a few challenges involved in building a world-class digital adoption platform. The first challenge is that business applications are constantly being updated. Whether it's the addition of new features or improved user experiences, this is a world of constant inherent change. If we take Workday as an example, we can see that even just the homepage has changed dramatically over the years. And these types of changes happen all the time. Business applications typically have at least two major product releases a year. These releases usually include changes to the user interface as well as the underlying code. All of these updates introduce risk that can lead to DAP downtime. Either guidance and automation breaks or data about user behavior and processes within the application becomes inconsistent and unreliable. The next challenge is the variety of layouts and views that can be available within the same business app. This can depend on different user permissions or even just the size of your monitor. This is another factor that introduces risk because as you build out your guidance and automation, you have to create more complex solutions that are harder to maintain. To show you an example, we've got this type of situation all the time where a menu tab that's available for one user will be collapsed from view for other users using the same application, just depending on their monitor size. Up next, multi-language. I could be creating my WalkMe guidance or automation while the underlying app is rendered in English, but some of our customers have global audiences that use localized versions of the same application. Today's session is going to cover how we tackle these challenges from several different angles. The common denominator are underlying DPY technology. DPY was acquired by WalkMe in 2018 with the goal of creating a system that can understand any graphical user interface like a human being. The technology was then developed and integrated into the WalkMe product. Today, DPY is the AI-based system that powers WalkMe's element recognition abilities. What that means is that it automatically recognizes dynamic user interface components in any application. It also has the ability to continuously adapt to changes in the underlying app, and it does all this while meeting the highest privacy and GDPR standards. WalkMe has no less than eight granted patents on this technology, and it helped us earn the AI Excellence Award for a cutting edge UI intelligence product. WalkMe's DPY powers a lot of the fundamentals of what we do. If we look at our data action and experience breakdown, we can see that there are a lot of capabilities in our product that rely at the core on WalkMe's ability to integrate with the graphical user interface of an application. Whether it's app discovery, analytics on application usage and business processes, UI intelligence, automation, guidance, it all starts with the ability to look at a screen within an application and make sense of what's going on, even if that screen has multiple variations and even if it changes over time. Before we move on to share some of our exciting product updates that are made possible by the unique capabilities of DPY, I want to share with you some data about how this sophisticated technology is proactive in addressing the first challenge that we reviewed, which is constant change in business applications. Throughout 2022, WalkMe has adapted to changes in these top SaaS applications before they actually impacted our customers. These are the number of items within our customers' WalkMe implementations that would have broken throughout the past year if DPY wasn't there. To try to understand what this means for a single customer, let's deep dive into the latest SAP SuccessFactors release, which came out in December. When we drill down into the impact that this version had on our customers, we saw one particular customer that really stood out. This is a customer from the healthcare and life sciences industry that uses WalkMe on 45 business applications. And when SuccessFactors released their new version last quarter, 
671 elements that this customer has in their Walk Me Success Factory system changed overnight. To be clear, this is not equivalent to 671 potential issues because this customer has 386,000 employees all exposed to Walk Me on Success Factors. If we assume that each end user encounters each of these elements just once, that means that the impact of this one success factors update on this single customer is 260 million times that guidance automation and data tracking are disrupted. To quantify what fixing this would look like, we can conservatively assume that it takes about 30 minutes to fix each item. And I say conservatively because to find out what's broken, you would need to go in and QA every single item that you've ever built. But if we still assume it takes only 30 minutes per item to find it, recapture, test, and publish, that's still 42 full workdays. And this is just one release on one application out of 45 business apps that this customer uses WalkMe on. If you're wondering what actually happened with this release, WalkMe didn't skip a beat. 671 of this customer's elements changed overnight, and the customer didn't have to do a thing. Because with WalkMe's DPY, digital adoption just works.